<laughs> everybody, yes. Let's talk a little bit about flight simulation hardware again. Yes, everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's go ahead and review the new Velocity One flight yoke that was very recently released by the company of Turtle Beach. You guys have might have heard of this company before. You know, they're quite renowned for making pretty good, you know, gaming stuff. I think I used to have like a gaming headset. And now they very, very recently released this yoke here for the flight simulation community. You know, this is actually cool. Over the past few months, we've seen so many new flight simulation hardware products released. You know, of course, because the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 came out and that got a very, very huge hype. So let's just go ahead and talk a little bit about this one here. Very highly requested video. Now, this joke has been out for a couple of months now, but it's only now that it's become, you know, widely available. For example, I bought it yesterday from Amazon and it arrived today. So yes, you can pretty much buy this everywhere now in every you know Walmart you're probably gonna find it and it costs $350 and as I've already said I bought this completely myself this is not like a paid advertisement so this is gonna be a very very mm, neutral review right you know, the Swiss is there one after all. Now, the thing is, I'm, I'm a little bit of a pilot myself, right? And I've flown some planes with several types of yokes. So maybe I can actually kind of give somewhat of a proper review of this. So I'll just go ahead and actually start unboxing this and setting this up because this is already where the cool features of this thing begins. All right. Ah, let's just go ahead and unbox this. Jesus Christ. Now, that's not really a, an interesting part here about this. I don't know why, but every yoke is packaged the same way. It's just always this cardboard for no reason. Okay, let's go ahead now. Fine. Now, the first thing that greets us here in this package is, of course, this very, very interesting throttle quadrant right here that we're going to take a closer look to later on. Let's uh, first of all move over on to the yolk, everybody. And uh, let's, let's leave this out first of all. Yeah, good. So here we have the yolk. Fine. Now, of course, we need to actually set this up on to the table first. And this is actually where the cool stuff already starts. Right, so the way you're actually supposed to mount this onto your table is really, really straightforward. You have these little hooks here to actually clamp this onto your table, right? And the way to use this is you bring up this flat right here and you have your little driver. And then you would, uh, and then you would bring out these little hooks down here with this. Right, so this is actually <laughs> one of the most straightforward processes I've ever seen. Just using this thing right here. Let's get this all out. Good. And once you've reached the thickness of your desk, you just pull it in to secure it onto it. I have a little bit of a thicker desk and it actually fits very, very well. This is good. And now once you're done, you just put the flap back on. And this is actually a very, very simple installation onto your desk. You know, this is actually what I hate about most yoke. This is actually the best installation process I've ever seen. You know, right, I cannot be the only one who really wants to use their desk as a proper desk after a little bit of a flight simulation session. Anyway, so the setup of our throttle quadrant is, you know, even more straightforward. You just basically plug it in here, boom, into your yoke. And actually, it holds very, very securely. You can see it. This is, this is really nice. Now we come actually to, I think the highlight of this yoke definitely, and that's the cables that are, you know, del delivered to it. Because, I mean, you can actually see it right here. They're actually braided USB-C cables. Welcome to 2021. This is really awesome. The blue one just connects, you can see you have uh, your slots. Blue one connects uh, your yoke. There we go, yoke to the actual throttle quadrant. Here we go, this is the plug. You're just supposed to plug it right in here. And this is actually super cool, right? And then the red one, which actually even has a custom Turtle Beach logo on it, it just goes into your proper yoke right here. Here, yeah, here's the slot. And then you would put this, there we go, into your PC. And that's actually all you pretty much have to do for a setup. Once you plug it into your computer, it is very, very much automatically, you know, detected by the flight simulator. Very, very easy process. Now we can take a little bit of a closer look at this yoke itself. And definitely what I noticed first of all about it is, of course, our little screen that we have. This is called the flight management display. I'll be honest, I've flown with this yoke before. It's actually pretty useless. You cannot actually use it to, you know, for example, control some of the systems on board the plane. 
No, it is basically just used to control, you know, a few modes that you have here. For example, we can go into settings. We can go to like input mode and we can change it from Xbox to PC and stuff like that. You know, you know, it's just things to configure your yoke, basically. What you can do right... By the way, yes, you can actually use this on an Xbox. This is, by the way, one of the only yokes to actually be able to do that, which is really cool. Whatever. But the most important part, everybody, is, of course, the RGB. We can change it here from uh, blue to purple. We can change it to, yeah, red. Look at that. We've got all the colors we want. This is proper RGB. You know, this is what we expect from a proper gaming company, of course. You know, everything actually lights up from the throttle quadrant to the yoke, which is kind of cool. But who needs that? I mean, okay. Now, this is not, of course, touchscreen or anything. And uh, again, it's not very... I mean, it's just only to configure the yoke itself. Something that's actually kind of cool, though, is the chronometer. So you can, you know, display the local time or start a stopwatch. Yeah. Anyway, other than that, the yoke is actually quite well equipped with, you know, things like switches. You have a lot of them. There's some more. You actually basically everything you need. You even have some shoulder buttons right here, which is really cool. And then something you have right here, which I found very interesting, is, you know, some status lights. That will, when we're in the cockpit, light up. Um, and actually, you can exchange this panel and have some other things shown, which is really cool. Um, this is very modular of a system. And when we're already on the topic of modular, let's have a little bit of a look here at this throttle quadrant. Because as you can see, there's basically nothing pretty much on these little buttons. But we can quickly change that because we have got a lot of stickers here included with this yoke. So, you know, we can assign just a few things to him and just, you know, stuff like... Uh, barking brakes, so we can, right, we can, we can glue that on there, right? That is really cool. Very modular indeed. And now we're already at the throttle quadrant. Now here we can find a trim wheel, which I can already say is really, really nice. This is actually one of the most realistic feeling trim wheels I've seen ever before. And actually one of the only trim wheels. Anyway, of course, we've got our throttle levers, which we can actually, this is kind of nice, we can get rid of these knobs. And actually, with this yoke, we have a few different lever caps included. So we can, for example, use this as like prop. We can just put that on here or like a, maybe like a flaps switch or whatever we want. That's really cool. Very modular indeed. But what I have to say about the general throttle quadrant is that, well, it's kind of small. Well, I might just be the only one to complain about this at all, but this for example is <clears throat> what a true to size Boeing throttle quadrant looks like you know real plane and then fake plane you know I'm, <laughs> yeah I might just be a little bit ridiculous complaining about this anyway yeah this is not a very very large throttle quadrant let me just say but what I find really cool is these little knobs down here now these are also levers for controlling the throttle the prop and the mix but these are like veneer style um you know uh, levers right you can find these on for example Cessnas which is really cool you have both actually you have both a lever style and a veneer style they have included them both in this thing so you know this maximizes modularity again but all right this is the first setup here of this yoke is actually hop into the flight simulator and maybe try flying some planes with this thing now all right everybody welcome to the flight simulator indeed now as i've already said this is a very 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 easy process right here setting this up there's basically nothing you have to do just spawn right in let's get into the cockpit let's have a bit of a control check yes there we go I know we are on board an Airbus, which has a joystick, but that doesn't matter. Now, what is very important to note is really how... Damn, you can actually get some proper bank here. That's actually, unlike most other yokes, you can actually do a full 90 degree turn. That's really good. Something that I've kind of noticed about this yoke is the build quality. I mean, it... It's probably one of the loudest yokes I've ever had in my entire life. It's pretty loud. It doesn't feel very good. Right, and it's, yeah, it's not very sturdy, right? I mean, of course, these proper, very well-built ones cost, you know, north of a thousand dollars. But in real life, a yoke would never, I would never fly a plane that has a yoke that feels like this. Let me just put it that way. But that's fine enough. Let's maybe especially come in and start a flight here on board this A320 here. Here we go. And we're actually already moving. All right, let's give this a bit of a try. Now, of course, for the proper flying, we need rudder pedals as always with yokes this is maybe a little bit different when you have a joystick but no with the yoke you definitely do need some proper um you know rudder pedals which i do always have here from sight and we're dying let's see how the dying experience is 
All right. That feels quite realistic here with this yoke. As everybody, I mean, overall, we can see the build quality of this yoke is, you know, not mind-blowing for sure. Right, there is a bit of a dead zone here as well. I do... I you can tell that, definitely. But it's definitely gonna be enough to fly most planes around here. This is... I don't know. I mean, it's mostly made out of plastic. Now, I can't really figure out how to use this. Right? It's not a touch panel, of course. I really don't... Yeah, whatever. Let's let me try to land this plane here. See the butter capabilities of this interesting yoke. No, right to here. Now with a proper plane that has a proper yoke system as well. Here we go. Welcome aboard the 777. Now, by the way, while we're at it, we can take a little bit of a look at those veneer style um, throttle levers right here. Because with them, I have a little bit of a, you know, problem with the bell quality as well. You know, you know, in a real Cessna, for example, you can, you know, turn them around to make them more stiff and stuff like that but it's anyway it's cool to to have them anyway yeah overall the feel of this whole system is okay it's all right anyway let's maybe perform a bit of a butter landing now here indeed mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right here we go this has not been a butter landing if i'm being honest but here we go you know what i kind of do like the feel of this of course, this is very light of a yoke, you know, in real life. Sometimes your left arm really gets strained here when you have to, you know, control a plane, which you really do not have here at all. But anyway, this is this is still fine enough. Anyway, yes, this landing has not been brilliant. Oh my god, it's not been brilliant at all. So, yeah, guys, that is the Turtle Beach. This is actually a pretty, pretty cool new yoke. I still would prefer, for example, the Thrustmaster yoke that I talked about a while ago. This is definitely cool. It does have a little bit of a gaming thing to it, you know, with the RGB. I don't know. It's not very professional of like a fight simulator, you know, thing. Honestly, the screen that we see here is a little bit of a wasted opportunity. You could maybe, I mean, this is probably still possible through a software update. I don't know. So yeah, guys, the Turtle Beach Velocity 1. Yeah, you can... This is the uh, Swiss Reserve one approved, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Reserve One, Saturn Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.